Uh, Rhonda, did you have a prayer request? Oh, you did? About Janice? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, well, um, bless her heart. You know, she just, um, you know, it's not because I'm jealous or anything, because I'm not a jealous person, but um, with um, this particular person, Janice, she is just showing a little too much in the upstairs area. And I know I don't have a lot in that department, so I'm not saying it because I'm jealous or anything, but I think she dresses a little too hoochie mama. And I just think we need to pray for her because I just think, you know, their marriage isn't so good. And I think if she dressed more appropriately and bless her heart, I'm just saying, you know, too, because bless her heart, we need to pray. And I'm not judgmental or gossip or anything like that. Okay, that's good. And um, yeah, do you have something over there, Mindy? Yeah, I have a prayer request, and it is for um, Susie Lou. And Susie Lou, um, well, I'm just saying that, you know, there's an eating issue with her without eating healthy stuff. I mean, she has Diet Coke for breakfast. And the other day, I asked her, what are you eating for lunch? And she just said that she was having Lay's potato chips. And I'm not being judgmental or anything, because I am not judgmental. And I am just saying this, you know, because as... Um, Rhonda said, bless her heart. I think that we just need to pray for these people. And we're not judging or gossiping or anything, but we are just praying and saying it and keeping it real. All right? All right then. All right. So, we have all been in that place. I've been in that place where I've used my mouth to praise God and to pray. But I've also used that mouth to say things that I shouldn't or give a little extra detail that I should not. And I came to realize that I have a stinking plank growing out of my eye. And God says to first take the plank out of your own eye so you can see clearly to take the speck out of your sister's eye or your brother's eye. If we have a big honking plank in our own eye, how can we surely see to do surgery on our sister or brother's eye? Matthew 7, 5 says, first take the plank out of your own eye and you're gonna be seeing so much clearer to take the speck out of your sister or brother's eye. There's this great scripture in James 5.16 and it says, a prayer of a righteous man availeth much. But you know what the first part of that verse says that we often don't ever read about or hear about? The first part of James 5.16 says this, confess your sins to one another. Confess your sins to one another and then the effective prayer of a righteous woman or man it availeth much. And I know in my own life, I never really understood that power of confession, of just being so honest with where I'm at and how I mess up. And I need to give that same kind of grace to others because God gives that to me. And I know that this is difficult because we see what everyone else is doing wrong and it's easier to focus on someone else's problems than it is to take a good look an honest look at ourselves. God loves us so much. He wants us to heal and, and He wants us to be whole. He doesn't want us to be broken. He came to make us whole and, and fill us. And it's that relationship that we have with Him. It's a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. It's not a religion. He did not come so we could have religion. He came so we could have a relationship. And we are this church. And so much of the time we think it's about bringing other people to church. No. It's not about going to church. It's more about let's be the church. And it's being the church to how we are standing in line at the grocery store or in the post office. What is our attitude? Does someone look at us and say, I want what they have because there's something different about them. There's a peace, there's a joy. Because when I'm working on myself and examining myself and allowing God to show me things, I want to grow and it's not always easy. And he never said it would be easy, but he said he would never leave us never forsake us and that's something to hope hold on to and when we're able to do that we're able to give that grace in the meantime he doesn't judge or condemn us for our feelings and that was such a comfort to me to realize that when i looked at hebrews 4 15 and i saw that he understands everything i'm going through he knows everything about me he experienced it but even when i am feeling those things or i'm thinking those things he doesn't condemn me for them he just says, Debbie, here's the way to go. Here's the way to follow. I'll show you I am the way and I love you like crazy.